Hey everyone, my name is Jonathan and welcome back to another Permaslug episode. Today I'm excited to bring you something that I've actually tried to do in the past and was unable to until very recently. This actually was brought to my attention by Taylor Drayson, so a big shout out to him for coming up with the idea and uh, being kind enough to let me make a video on it. But basically the idea here is that you can use these device mockups and you can put anything inside of them. So what you're actually looking at is a short code wrapper. And then the phone itself, that device is actually just CSS that makes it look like an iPhone X. Inside of it, you can put whatever you want. So what I did was capture a full size screenshot of like a website mockup and stick it inside here. This I would use for like a portfolio on a website. An interactive portfolio would look so good with these scrolling images inside of it. And again, because this is effectively just a div, you can put whatever you want in here. So I just have a tall image. You can put a heading, you could put images, columns, buttons, YouTube videos, whatever you want can all go inside of that phone. What makes this even cooler is if we switch over here real quick, just to demonstrate, I'll show you of course how to set this up, but I'm gonna change this to iPad Pro, and then I'm gonna change my color from black to gold. Then if we save this real quick and then go refresh, now we have an iPad with the gold layout behind it. So you can make this look like whatever device you want. And here's a quick table that you can also find in the link in the description below that will basically give you an idea of all the devices that you can take advantage of. For the devices with an X, that means those are the color variants you can choose from. If it doesn't have one, there's just a default style and you just set the color to black and it will work fine. So a bunch of different options here. Just to demonstrate real quick, let's switch this to a MacBook Pro and we'll just leave the default color to the silver. So we'll switch back over here and I'm gonna go MacBook Pro. Then I'll just set the color to silver save that and then take a look on the front end. And now you have a MacBook Pro with your device. And again, it is fully interactive. So anything that you put in there will work just fine. Now, of course you can see it isn't quite the most high fidelity thing in the world, but in terms of it being functional and working properly, it absolutely does. And the best part about this is it's completely free. There's nothing here that you have to pay for to make this work. Again, I have to give credit to Taylor Drayson for this. He's a big member of the Oxygen community, both in the Facebook group and in the Oxygen Discord. So big shout out to him for letting me do this. Now what I'm gonna do is walk you through how to set this up and get it working on your website. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is make sure you have either code snippets or advanced scripts. Either one of them are going to work fine. I'm gonna use code snippets because it's free and I often use it. It's just the one I sort of default to. So under snippets, we're gonna to go to all snippets. And then we're actually gonna to need to add a bit of CSS here. So what we're gonna do is just clone the example CSS snippet they give you. I'm gonna go down here to edit and let's rename this. We'll just call this like device mockups CSS. Once again, all the code you're gonna need for this tutorial is in the link in the description below. But basically what you need to do is right here, just paste in the CSS that you can find at those links. We're gonna go down to the bottom, set it to run everywhere, and then I'm just gonna save changes and activate. So that one's good to go. Now we need to add one more snippet and I'm just gonna call this one device mockups code. So we'll just paste that code in there. And basically what it's doing is setting up the divs and backgrounds for us. And then it's adding a new short code. So you can see it's this right here, which is what we were manipulating earlier to change the device itself and then also the color. So we can save that change and activate it. And now we just need to go to oxygen. So you can go to any page or template across your site. All right, so inside of our section here, what we're gonna do is start off by adding in a short code wrapper. And if you're not familiar with what the wrapper is, it basically allows you to put anything inside of it as though it were just a regular div. And then it handles putting a short code at the beginning and the end of that content for you. Kind of like for membership sites that need like an opening and a closing tag to protect content. This is effectively just wrapping the content we're gonna put inside of this div with that device short code from earlier. So I'm actually just gonna stick in a text element real quick inside of this so you can see. This is what the short code is going to look like. So device mockup device equals, the device name from that chart and then the color is going to equal one of those colors from the chart as well. Now for my American friends, just keep in mind this is the alternative spelling of color. So just make sure you're not spelling it C-O-L-O-R. Add that U in there and you'll be good to go. So I'm gonna take this out of that text element. We're gonna go back to our short code wrapper here and just paste that in. So just to change things up a little bit here, let's actually use the iPhone 8 this time instead of the iPhone X so we can see something a little bit different. So we're gonna go iPhone 8 and then the color we'll just set to silver, which I think is the default. But I have noticed if you don't set a color, sometimes it will glitch out and things won't work properly. So just make sure you have one of the colors selected, even if it says it's the default color in that table from earlier. Now in terms of actually adding content to the short code wrapper, out of everything in Oxygen, the only thing I've found so far that doesn't quite work properly is the gallery element, but everything else works like headings, text, images, buttons, videos, even repeaters work. 
anything works inside of this, which is amazing. Just for the sake of example, let's add in like a heading and then we'll pop in some text. And you'll notice that things sometimes don't quite work. They don't fit inside of the short code wrapper how you would want. So instead of actually adding content directly to it, what I would recommend you do is on your section here, go ahead and stick in a div and you can actually just add the content inside of that div, first of all, so you can see it, but also that short code wrapper can be a little wonky about adding new headings and stuff inside of it. This solution though works perfectly fine because you can add whatever you want and then just basically stick the div inside the short code wrapper. Now, of course you can see this doesn't look proper on the back end, but if we go ahead and save this and take a look on the front end, then everything fits inside of our device just fine. Now, of course that looks terrible, but just to show you the principle of how it works. Now in our example earlier, of course, we did not have this hideous looking scroll bar right here, so we can get rid of that super easily with a simple code block. So we're gonna go ahead and go back to the section here, toss in a code block. We're gonna comment out this PHP, and then under the CSS tab, we're just gonna paste in some simple CSS, and once we go view it on the front end, our scroll bar won't be there. Now what I did in the earlier example was have a full height screenshot of a website mockup. So all that I did was inside of a div, I just added an image component, and then I went ahead and uploaded a full-size screenshot of a website mockup. So here is the image that I used earlier. I, of course, don't need this heading inside of there. And then also I'm gonna go ahead and delete this other content that we had. So now we're just left with our image inside of the shortcode wrapper. The reason why I mentioned earlier adding that div in is because you can pull it in and out. So if you're noticing things aren't quite fitting how you want, you could just basically pull that div right out of the shortcode wrapper. And once you're done, you could just stick it right back inside. So now let's go ahead and just save Take a quick look on the front end of what we've done. So there we go, there's our scroll bar gone and now our image is inside this device and it works perfectly fine. So again, this is fantastic for a portfolio on like a web agency site. And because you can set it to be most popular devices, you can have a really nice interactive portfolio. Let's switch this over to like the iMac Pro. So I'm gonna go back to our short code wrapper and we're gonna change the iPhone here to iMac Pro. And then I don't think we have any color options so I'm just gonna set the color to black. So we'll just save this, take a look on the front end, and there we go. Now I have an iMac Pro. Looks really, really good. Now in terms of how this behaves on mobile, it does work perfectly fine, except of course eventually it's gonna to start to go off the page. So what we need to do is actually configure the scaling of this particular device on the lower breakpoint. So, so for the most part, things like the iPads and iPhones will work pretty much all the way down to like 768 or like less than 480. But you can see since the iMac Pro is so much bigger, we need to start making some adjustments at realistically 768. So what you need to do on this short code wrapper is go to Advanced, Effects, Transform, Add, and then do scale. And the scale here, you just wanna do like zero point something. So like 0 0.8, it doesn't quite fit. So maybe we'll do 0 0.7. We'll just try 0 0.7 all the way down. And then you'll notice it has kind of this annoyance where it adjusts it over to the right side and, and it doesn't really listen to whatever alignment settings you have for your section or your div. This is actually easy to fix. All you need to do is set the width of the short code wrapper to just zero pixels and it will start to fit just fine. So it looks like our 0 0.7 just barely fits on this breakpoint, but if we step down to 480, it's not gonna fit there. What I would do is again, just go back to effects, transform, we're gonna go to scale, and this time we're gonna set it to 0 0.5. So that looks like it fits. So let's go ahead and save that and look again on the front end. There we go, that does work perfectly fine and everything is still interactive inside of that. This of course looks pretty small in the Chrome preview, but it's gonna work perfectly fine on a real mobile device. Just for the sake of example, let's switch this back to like an iPad. Just use like, let's switch this back to our all devices screen width. We'll switch this to iPad Pro. And then our color this time, let's go with space gray. So it's actually just space gray, all one word. So we'll save this. And then I just wanted to see what this looks like on the front end from a mobile perspective, should fit a lot more cleanly. And it sure does. So you could actually play, depending on the device you have, you could play with that scaling to make it fit. But as you can see, it works perfectly fine and looks great on the front end. So as you can see, this is a relatively simple tutorial to set up, but it can have a lot of power for you to make really amazing looking portfolios or really any kind of demonstration that you need a mobile device mockup for. Like I mentioned, I tried to do this in the past and it was pretty difficult to achieve, but this solution makes it a heck of a lot easier. Now again, I think the most important thing to keep in mind is if you're gonna be adding content that's not just a single image like this, go ahead and just take that div out of the short code wrapper, add whatever you want, and then stick it back inside the short code wrapper, and that will save you headaches where things duplicate or don't quite work right. 
So hopefully this tutorial has been helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in a future video.